classic in the arithmetic sequences game is uh, questions where you have to use simultaneous equations to solve them. Generally, they look about the same. Uh, for example, you, it might be given in words, but I've shortened it down here. Um, term 12 is 9, and term 25 is 100. This is of an arithmetic sequence. Um, if that's true, find out what term 8 is. So you've got like term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, all the way up to term 12, which is 9, and then do -do 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 -do, all the way up to term 25, which is 100. Find out what term 8 is back here. Really, really tough. Uh, but luckily we have an arithmetic sequence formula. Term n is equal to a plus n minus 1. Uh, common difference. Uh, now, using that, we can sub this stuff in, or at least some of this stuff in. So what do we know? We know that term 12 is equal to a plus uh, n minus 1. So n is 12, so 12 minus 1, d. In other words, term 12 is equal to a plus 11d. And we know that uh, term 12 is actually 9. Okay, so this is, using our sort of simultaneous equation stuff, this is equation 1, but we also know that term 25 is equal to a plus uh, 25 minus 1 uh, d. Now, term 25 is 100. a plus 25 minus 1 is 24. 24 d. And now I have equation 2. So, 9 equals a plus 11 d. 100 equals a plus 24 d. They're really nicely set up. Um, because 9 equals a plus 11d, 100 equals a plus 24d. If I subtract one of those equations from the other, the a's will cancel out. 9 minus 100 is um, minus, oops, minus 91. And 11 minus 24d is uh, minus 13d. Put that into a calculator. I'm sure some number will pop out. All right, so just before I do that, I need to rearrange, don't I? Uh, negative 91 over negative 13 equals d. d is equal to 7. All right, so that means that in a... In a arithmetic sequence where term 12 is 9 and term 25 is 100, the common difference between each one is 7. So finally, I can sub that back into one of my equations, doesn't matter which one, and I can find out what a is. So sub d equals 7 into equation 1. Uh, so 9 equals a plus 11 times 7. Uh, that means a plus 77 equals 9. Um, 9 minus 77 equals a. Uh, and that's going to be negative 68. Okay, this is really good news because now I know that uh, for my arithmetic sequence, the first term was negative 68 and the common difference is 7. I can finish this all off now and find out what term 8 was. Term 8 is going to be equal to a, which I know is negative 68, plus n minus 1. Well, I'm finding term 8, so n minus 1 is going to be 7. Speed that up a little bit. And then d, the common difference, is also 7. All right, so now I have negative 68 plus uh, 49. And that's going to equal uh, term 8. So negative 68 plus 50 would be negative 18. So negative 19. All right, so a classic in the arithmetic sequences genre. Um, if you know one term and you know another term, you generally should use simultaneous equations to find out what A and D are. 
that gives you your formula and then you can find whatever term it is that you might be looking for.